Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for joining me. Today I'm gonna go over how to use the TRX, AKA just a suspension trainer, on how to do a row. So for those of you not familiar with a suspension trainer, you can see them dangling right here from the ceiling. Uh, so those of you that are local members at 40 Westminster, you know exactly where they are. You can always ask for help with them. Uh, for those that go to a, a separate gym, maybe on the weekends, or you have your own facility that you use, uh, try to find these. If you don't see them hanging up anywhere, then ask a, a gym attendant. I almost guarantee you that they're going to have them somewhere, maybe in a lockbox out back, just because they do come on clips. They don't want people stealing them. Uh, however, these, these are everywhere in gyms, PT clinics. Uh, they're just everywhere over the last decade or so. This brand is called the T-Rex, so they're kind of like the Mercedes-Benz of suspension trainers, uh, but there's so many other brands out there, and you can get them for cheap at, at Walmart or Amazon for 50 bucks, Marshalls, whatever. Um, and they're so diverse and so universal. There's so much that you can do with them, and you can hang them up on anything. So that's my quick little tidbit about suspension trainers. So we're going to get into a row. So a row, for you that aren't familiar, is this basic motion of pulling your shoulder blades back, pulling your chest out. It's one of the most beneficial exercises as far as posture goes. Okay? So as you get as you get older or the more you work and you text and you type, your shoulders get rounded forward, okay? Causing a lot of strain back here and you get these uh, impingements in your shoulders. Not to mention the benefit of using a, a suspension trainer like I'm about to show you is there's a lot more core activation because you're essentially holding a plank for this entire time, all right? So I got these handles all set up so they're at the same level. That's something that you always want to make sure when you're setting up things here. Uh, now, the other great part about using suspension trainers, it's, it's your body weight. But depending on how you use, you know, how close you are to the wall, your body weight is either going to be much heavier or much lighter. So you can change this based on every single rep or every exercise, okay? So the first thing you want to do is stand directly underneath the anchor point, okay? That way you're not off to the side. Feet nice and close together. The closer to the wall that I'm going to be, the harder this is going to be because the more parallel to the ground I'll be, whereas if I'm further back, I don't need to lean as much, right? Easy, hard, easy, okay? So as you can see, just the beginning, the start, we haven't even got into it, but the start of that motion, I'm already in a suspended plank. So this has to be tight, my belly embracing as if someone's gonna punch me right in the gut. So this is staying tight to brace my spine, not allowing it to round or to arch. My butt has to be squeezed in order to maintain this nice straight line from my heel all the way up to my shoulder. And my chin is gonna be tucked, okay? That's one thing I want to talk about because I always see that. We call it text neck. People that are texting all the time, right? Your neck is forward. You want these muscles to relax and bring the chin back. So always think about tucking your chin into your shirt as you're doing this exercise, all right? So this is about my medium position. Nice tight grip on these handles. Feet nice and close together, toes straight ahead. I'm just going to push my butt back and slowly lean back, all right? So my arms are out in front of me. My thumbs are up in like a hammer grip position. Like I said, my butt is squeezed. My belly is tight, so I'm already in a plug. I'm already working. I'm gonna exhale and pull myself up by bending my elbows, squeezing my biceps, and squeezing my back shoulder blades down and back. So it's gonna look like this, okay? Slow as you go down. Exhale as you come up. Inhale going back. Exhale up. Okay, so let's say this is too challenging. I'll just take a little step back. Look at that. A little bit easier for me now. Okay? So let me give you the close up of how this motion basically looks. So if you see me from the side, my arms are fully extended, my chest is out, and my shoulders are back. Okay, we don't want rounded shoulders like this. Okay, arms extended. I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades down and back at the ground, pulling my chest up. This is a pulling motion, so you're going to be working your biceps in here and right back here, your shoulder blades and your big lat muscles that connect all the way down into your hips, okay? So let me just give you one more quick demo bit on the TRX with our breathing and squeezing, okay? Think about pulling the shoulder blades down and back, not up and back. Then you can get the traps involved. That's not really what we wanna work here. We wanna work these bigger muscles of your lats. All right, so one more quick little demo for you. Thumbs up, lean back, exhale, pull, pull your thumbs right into your armpits. All right, slow going down. Excellent. So one more cue I'll just leave you with. 
uh, to try to get some people that are a little bit more challenged. Maybe they've, uh, they've done a lot of this over their career, all right? Say, show me, you're Clark Kent right now, show me Superman, okay? So they pull their chest out, boom, look at that, you're in that, you're in that row position. That's a little cue that you can work on, uh, either for yourself or to help someone else. But please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. That helps out this channel so much. And uh, good luck on your row and wait to see that posture improve.